Okay, great. Okay, so we're going to get started here today, warming our bodies up, asking that we find ourselves in a comfortable seated position. Any seated pose that feels good for you, may you find your seat. <sighs> I am sitting in a half lotus. And may we take a nice, deep, intentional breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Maybe we can gaze our eyes downward or close our eyes. Noticing how that feels in the body. Maybe you notice how the down gaze help relax and center. As we breathe in through the nose, Exhale through the mouth. And with our exhale, may we lower our shoulders downward away from our ears, ensuring that our abdominal muscles are nice and tight, our core is tight, our spinal cords are nice and long. As we breathe in deeply, hold the breath, Exhale through the mouth. Maybe noticing how the breath relaxes and soothes as we breathe our palms at heart center, finding our bodies in our seated prayer. Maybe we can allow our thumbs to touch our sternum if that feels good for you as we continue to gaze down. Natural breaths. Allowing this position to center and soothe and ground us for our present moment. And maybe we can take natural breaths and sit in silence for four natural breaths. Two more breaths. You may find your mind and body is becoming more sensitive more focused and more relaxed. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms above our head in our seated suit, reaching our arms upwards towards the heavens, feeling that stretch, our spinal cord gets nice and long. Fingertips go upwards towards the ceiling. Tummy is nice and tight, feeling that stretch. Breathe in deeply. Exhale, seated twist, right side, softly gazing over that right shoulder, feeling that spinal twist here. We're gonna hold this pose, three breaths. Exhale, back to center, coming into the seated star, arms are reached out towards the sides, feeling that stretch, breathe in. Exhale, seated twist, opposite side, gazing over that shoulder, feeling that spinal relaxing on the opposite. Three breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming to our seated star. Breathe in. Exhale, seated twist, gazing over that right shoulder. Exhale back to center, seated twist, opposite sides. As we find our bodies back to center, our palms are on the earth next to our buttocks. As we use our palms to feel the energies of our environment, simply checking in, being aware of what's going on around us without judgment, simply noticing. Throughout our practice, we may have distractions, we may hear noises. May we take notice of what is going on around us without judging, simply being aware. As we breathe our bodies towards the right, feeling that side bend, our left arm goes over our head. Maybe we can allow our right shoulder to completely relax down, noticing how our bodies come closer towards the earth with our eyes slightly closed or gaze down. Three breaths. Exhale, 
side, pulling back the center, both palms are on the earth. As our bodies lean to the opposite side, right arm goes over the head, body leans towards the left. Our left shoulder relaxes downward towards the earth. Feeling that complete side stretch here. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center. As we breathe our palms above our head in our salute. Exhale to our prayer. As we find our bodies onto our backs, it's gonna roll onto our backs just for a second. Bringing our knees into our chest. Hugging our knees into our chest. Taking this moment to show ourselves a little bit of self-love. Thanking ourselves for practicing self-care here today. As we allow our knees to fall towards the left, we're going to work on a reclined spinal twist. Using this time to soothe and relax our spinal cord as our right arm comes off towards the side. And maybe we can gaze over that right shoulder. Allowing our shoulder blades to relax back into the yoga mat. As our mind and bodies become more centered more present. Three more breaths. As we exhale back to center, bringing our knees into our chest, hugging them in. Allowing our knees to fall towards the right, recline, spinal twist, opposite side. Left arm goes off to the side as we gaze over that left arm. Allowing our bodies to completely relax here. Three more breaths. As we come back to center, bringing our knees into our chest, hugging them in, crossing our feet at our ankles, coming up into a boat pose. We can keep our feet crossed at our ankles if that feels good for us, or we can bring our feet and our hands parallel or we can lift our legs up in the air. What we are doing is we are working our abdominal muscles, our obliques, and we are also balancing our bodies here. As we gaze forward, noticing how the pulse feels within our bodies, four breaths. Two more breaths. As we reach down with our hands, connecting them to our feet, bringing our hands and our feet together, allowing our backs to come up nice and strong. Noticing how we feel when our backs are slightly bent. See that they are slightly bent? And notice how we feel when our backs are nice and straight and long. Noticing the difference and noticing how it feels in your body. Two breaths, simply being aware. And once we find our strength, maybe we can straighten out our left leg towards the side, noticing how that feels. So we have that left leg out towards the side. We have one foot in our hand and our bodies are balancing here. Our core is nice and strong holding us up. And you may feel this pose behind our legs here in our hamstrings. Two more breaths. As we bring both feet in and we're gonna do it on the opposite side, bringing that right leg off towards the side Noticing how this feels in your body. We are in our boat pose variations here. Simply checking in, seeing how this feels. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, both feet are side by side. As we go into a boat pose variation, or some people call this a bear pose. Both of our legs are up in the air. We are feeling a stretch in our hamstrings behind our legs. And if you choose, maybe we can widen our legs nice and wide. Noticing how that feels or we can bring our legs inward together. Maybe we can try both, noticing how both feels within our bodies. And if we are unable to bring both legs straight out, we can always simply bend our knees slightly, noticing how this feels. So these are a nice couple of options that we can give ourselves or our clients. They can bend their knees, they can straighten their legs, they can bring their legs out nice and wide, or they can bring their legs in together. Two more breaths. 
As we exhale, come into a bound position, bringing our feet together. We are in our diamond pose or our butterfly. In our butterfly, our feet are closer towards our bodies. In our diamond, our feet are slightly further away. Noticing how both poses feel within our bodies and maybe we can do which one feels best for us. When we're in our butterfly, we can feel it a little bit more in our hips. So if this is painful, come down slightly to our diamond. As we hinge at our hips, slightly bringing our chest, heart chakra towards the floor, gazing our eyes down. Nice natural breaths, allowing our bodies to completely fall downward. We are in our diamond or butterfly forward fold. Bodies relax. We're going to hang out here for four natural breaths. Two more breaths. This is a hip opener. You may feel this in your inner thighs. Natural breaths. As we slowly push our bodies up, we are back into our butterfly or our staff pose. I'm sorry, our butterfly or our diamond. As we bring our legs straight, and now we're going to come into our staff pose. Our feet are parallel side by side. <sighs> As we breathe our palms above our head in our salute, reaching my hands up towards the ceiling, breathe in deeply, exhale the prayer. As we hinge at our hips coming into that seated forward fold, allowing our torso to relax downward towards our bodies. We can touch, we can reach down to the lower parts of our ankles, or we can reach down and grab our feet, whatever feels best for you. As we gaze our eyes down or close our eyes, and relax our heart chakra towards our thighs. Noticing, you may notice how this is a soothing pose. It is a relaxing pose. It is also a deep full body stretch. We're gonna hang out here four more breaths. Two more breaths. As we exhale to a half forward fold, coming back to that staff pose, checking in with the body. As we come onto our hands and our knees, bringing our feet inward, flipping our bodies, we're gonna come into a table. Our knees are hip distance apart. We're gonna work on a couple of cat cow rotations here, maybe starting with the cow, dropping our tummies down, chin comes slightly up, feeling that slight back bend here. As we breathe to our cat, Chin comes towards our clavicle, spinal cord goes up towards the heavens. As we flow, doing a couple of cat-cow rotations to our natural breath. Three more breaths. Ensuring our abdominal muscles are nice and tight here. As we find our pause at center, we're going to flow into a sunbird pose, right side, bringing that right leg towards the back nice and high. We are balancing our bodies here, keeping our core nice and tight here. If we have any issues staying up, we can always lower our toes downward towards the earth. Let's just say we have a client and they, they have balancing issues. We can always give them the option in our pose to just bring their toes downward towards the earth as we gaze forward. And for those who choose, we can lift the toes off the earth, noticing how this goes deeper into the pose. As we breathe, bring in that left arm forward. Now we are in this full sunbird here. Our bodies are balancing, strengthening, and relaxing. We're gonna hold this pose, four breaths. Core muscles tight, two more breaths. As we take a nice deep breath in, breathe in, exhale, knee to elbow, flowing back to bird, knee to elbow, feeling that tummy crunch, back to bird, one more time, knee to elbow, holding it in, two breaths, exhale, back to bird. As we flow back to our table and drop down to our cow, chin comes up, back is sunken, flow into our cat. 
binding pose at center. As we bury pose opposite side, bringing that left leg out towards the back, feeling that stretch. We are gaze forward, bodies up nice and high. And if we need to lower our toes downward towards the earth, feel free to do so. Noticing how that feels. As we breathe our right arm forward, we are now in our full bird pose here, gazing forward. Tummies nice and tight. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Breathe in deeply. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. One more, knee to elbow, holding it in two breaths. Exhale, back to bird. As we flow to our table, dropping down to our cow. Exhale to our cat. We are back to table and we're gonna thread that needle starting on the right side, bringing our right arm off to the side if we choose before we thread that right arm through our left. Our heart chakra, our chest comes downward towards the earth. Maybe we can gaze our eyes down or close our eyes. Noticing how we become even more centered here. And if anyone wanna wrap their arm around their back, feel free to do so, noticing how that feels in your body. One more breath. Two more breaths. As we slowly unthread that needle, I'm sorry, unwrap that arm and unthread that needle, coming back to our table. And we're gonna thread the needle on the opposite side, bringing that left arm out to the side as we bring that left arm through that right. Heart chakra comes downward, eyes are gazed down, bodies relaxed. Natural breaths. And for those who choose, we can take that arm and wrap it around our backs. Two more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, we're gonna unthread that needle. Coming back to our table. As we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing back at our feet. Maybe pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that deep stretch here. Maybe we can walk our dog by pedaling our feet left to right. Ensuring that our core muscles are nice and tight, always having control of our abdominals. As we find our pause, if it was, rock, if it was walking our dog, we're gonna come up to a high plank we are building strength here in our arms, ensuring our tummies are nice and tight. Two breaths. Exhale back to down dog, gazing back at the feet. Blowing forward to our up dog. Our thighs are off the earth here in our up dog. Noticing how the up dog and the cobra looks very similar, but in a cobra, our thighs are on the earth. In our up dog, our thighs are off the earth. Chin slightly up. This is a slight back bend as well, as well as a strengthening pose in our arms and shoulders. Two more breaths. Exhale back down dog. Pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that nice deep stretch. Pedal on our feet, walking our dog. As we flow to a three-legged dog, bringing that right leg in here nice and high. Gazing back at that foot, we're gonna do a nice couple of stretches here. We can bend this right foot towards that left buttock, filling that hip open. And if you choose, we can flow on over into a wild thing, falling over, feeling this nice deep stretch. We are also working our arms. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Feeling this nice deep stretch. Breathe in. Exhale out, come into a down dog. Gazing back at our feet. Maybe pedaling our feet, walking our dog. 
Our arms are nice and tired here, and we're gonna keep on flowing. Three-legged dog, opposite side. Left legs in the air, gazing back at that foot. Maybe bending that left foot to that right buttocks, opening up that hip. And if you choose, flow on over to that wild thing, feeling that full body stretch. We're also building strength in this opposite arm. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Nice deep breath in. Exhale out, coming to a down dog. Gazing back at our feet, head on our feet, walking our dog. Pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that stretch. Exhale on our forearms, coming into a dolphin. We are on our forearms. <sighs> Noticing how the dolphin is very similar to that down dog. If we ever have a client who has issues getting into a down dog, we can always give them the option to come into a dolphin. In our dolphin, maybe walk our feet closer towards our torso. You'll notice your buttocks comes higher in the air and you'll feel a lot of pressure in your forearms, the lower parts of your arms. This pose prepares the mind and body for headstand. So if anyone is trying to get into a headstand, this dolphin pose is a nice prep pose to strengthen the lower parts of your arms. Two more breaths. As we drop down to our knees, taking a nice deep breath, coming into a puppy pose or a child's pose, allowing our chest, heart chakra to relax to the earth. Shoulders fall forward, eyes gaze down and closed, finding our bodies and our minds completely relaxed here. Natural breaths. <sighs> Using this pose to relax, soothe, and center. Five breaths. Three more breaths. If we are in a regular child's pose, meaning our hands are back towards our feet, maybe we can extend our arms in front of us coming into an extended child's pose or puppy pose. As we walk our fingers to the front of the yoga mat, feeling that body stretch here, simply just walking our fingers forward, noticing how that feels. With our palms flat on the earth, we're going to use our palms to push our torso forward. We're going to do a couple of spinal waves. Using the palms to come forward, using the palms to push our bodies backward. Buttocks comes towards the heels, coming forward, pushing backwards. We can go as fast or as slow as we choose. And in doing our spinal wave, you may notice that you feel it all throughout your spinal cord. You may notice it is a relaxation pose. It's also a fun pose. Maybe we can rotate our hips here, noticing how the rotations in our hips feel in our lower back. Keeping our core nice and tight as we are doing these poses right here. And if you choose, you can even make a couple of circular rotations with your head. Yes, getting lost in this pose here. Noticing how simply just moving and wiggling and gyrating your body awakens and stimulates cells within the body. We're going to play around with this final wave. Five more breaths. Mm -hmm. Three more breaths, having fun. As we find our pause, coming back to our tabletop position, coming back up to that down dog, gazing back at our feet, pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that stretch in your lower back. As we bring our right leg in the air, three-legged dog, as we flow right foot, right hand, we are in our runner's lunge here. Checking out, seeing how we feel here in our runner's lunge. Hanging out here just for a second. As we drop down, drop that back knee, we are coming into our low lunge. So we went from our runner's lunge, which is our knees off the earth, to our low lunge. Yes. Noticing how we can feel this here in our thighs. This pose here prepares our body for splits. And if you choose, we can reach our arms up in the air, feeling the, feeling the hips open a little bit more. 
As chest comes up, hands go towards the back, slight back bend. Chin slightly up. Three more breaths. Exhaling forward, framing that front leg. We are in our low lunge as we come back up to that runner's lunge. Exhale back down dog. As we three-legged dog opposite side, bringing that left leg in the air. Left foot, left hand, we are back in our runner's lunge, but on the opposite side this time. Bodies off the earth as we drop down to our low lunge, bringing that right knee down towards the earth. Allowing our bodies to completely relax here. This pose prepares our body for split. It opens up our hips. It helps us relax and stretch. And for those who choose, we can reach our arms up in the air. Noticing how this allows us to come deeper into that lunge. Maybe interlacing our hands. Hands go towards the back, chest comes forward. Chin slightly up. We'll feel the stretch just a little bit more deeper. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Breathe in deeply. Exhale, framing that front foot. Coming up to that runner's lunge as we flow back to our down dog. Gazing back at our feet as we walk our dog. Noticing how when we walk our dog, it is a relaxation counter stretch to the pose we just did. Three breaths. Two more breaths. As we find our pause, and come into a forward fold. <sighs> Jumping, stepping forward, allowing our bodies to be in a complete forward fold. Chest comes downward towards the thighs. Our eyes are closed. You may feel this behind your legs and your hamstrings. And if you choose, maybe we can flow into a rag doll by grabbing our elbows with our hands. Taking nice natural breaths. You may notice how this is a soothing and relaxation pose here. With our heart chakra connecting to our thighs. It helps regulate and soothe our heartbeat. And if we choose, maybe we can rock from side to side. Noticing how that feels within our minds and our bodies. We're going to hang out here in this fold for four more breaths. Two more breaths. As we find our pause at center, coming into a half forward fold, chin slightly up, breathing back to a complete forward fold. Exhale a half. As we breathe up to our Tadasana, our mountain pose, our palms are at our side. Maybe we can pedal our feet from side to side, noticing how that feels in our hips. Showing our hips a little love from going deep inside that low lunge. As we breathe our palms above our heads in our standing salute or our extended mountain. <sighs> Two breaths, noticing the difference between a standing salute and an, ex and an extended mountain. When we're, when we're in our standing salute, our palms are just straight up in the air. When we're in our extended mountain, our palms are separated. That's the difference. Two more breaths. Breathe in deeply, exhale, crescent moon, right side. Feeling that side bend here, bending our bodies towards the right. Tummy's nice and tight. Two breaths. Exhale the center. Standing crescent moon, opposite side. Exhale back the center. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a standing prayer. Relaxing our shoulders downward away from our ears. Thumbs are touching our sternum as we gaze downward with our eyes closed. Two breaths. As we bend our hips, coming into a chair pose. And if we choose, we can extend our hands in front above in the air. We can keep our palms at heart center. Whatever you choose here, we are working on building strength in the lower parts of our legs. As we gaze forward here, and we may apply more pressure to the fronts, the balls of our foot, or we may apply pressure to the backs of our foot. 
or maybe in the center. Maybe we can try all, and notice how the chair pose feels when we apply pressure to the front and when we apply more pressure towards the back. You'll notice that it works different parts of our leg muscles. Two more breaths. Breathing our palms at heart center. As we chair pose, twist right side. Three breaths. Exhale back to center. Tear pose, twist opposite side. Exhale back to center, two breaths. Exhale, forward fold, complete forward fold. Natural breaths here. Allowing this forward fold to relax and soothe. You may notice this is a counter stretch from that chair pose we just did. Maybe we can flow into a rag doll and rock our bodies from side to side, if that feels good for you. Three more breaths. As we find our pause at center, we are in our complete forward fold. Exhale into half, forward fold. Coming up to our Tadasana, our mountain pose. As we breathe to our extended mountain or standing salute. And maybe we can come up on our tippy toes just for a second, doing a couple of tippy toe pulses with our abdominal muscles nice and tight. Noticing how this feels. We are just balancing and gaining a little bit of strength here in our lower parts of our legs and our calves. Two more breaths. Relaxing our feet down, coming into a standing prayer. As we work on a tree pose, starting on the right side, right foot comes slightly up. We are in our kickstand pose. Our right foot is relaxed with our core muscles nice and tight and our back nice and long. And we are in our tree pose. We can bring our hands up in the air. We can bring them at heart center. Or we can, if we choose, we can bring our feet mid right below our knee. And if we choose, we can bring that foot all the way up to that inner thigh. Noticing how it feels. We can bring our palms up in the air, pray our hands, whatever feels good for you. We're gonna relax in our tree pose, four breaths. Two more breaths. As we exhale that feet down, relaxing the body. Maybe we can pedal our feet from side to side, noticing how that feels. Giving our body a little break as we work on that tree pose opposite side. Kick stands foot left side. And if we choose, we can come halfway or we can come all the way up to that inner thigh. And we can bring our palms in any tree pose stance that we choose. We're gonna hang out here and build strength as we focus on our bodies. Four breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly relax that leg, coming out of that tree pose, we are now back in our standing prayer, hinging at our hips, forward fold. As we come down, walking our hands forward, coming back to that down dog, Gazing back at our feet as we pedal our feet, walking our dog, our abdominals are nice and tight. As we flow to a high plank, slightly leading our bodies forward here, we are in our high plank, tummy's nice and tight. And for those who choose, we can come on down to a low plank if that feels good for you. Two more breaths. As we flow down to a low plank or a chaturanga, building strength in our arms, hovering over our yoga mat, two breaths. Exhale up to cobra or baby cobra. Notice in baby cobra, you're closer to the earth. Cobra, you're slightly further off. Whatever feels good for you, two more breaths. As we breathe to our up dog, now our thighs are off the earth. Slight back bend, chin slightly up, feeling that stretch. Breathe in, exhale down dog. Gazing back to our high plank. Tummy's nice and tight. As we flow down to our low plank or our chaturanga, 
two breaths. Exhale up to cobra or baby cobra. Breathing up dog. Exhale down dog. Gazing back at our feet, head on our feet, walking our dog. Two breaths. As we drop onto our forearms, coming into a dolphin. Walking our feet towards our torso. Dropping down to our knees, coming into a child's pose or a puppy pose. And maybe we can take notice of the difference between the child's pose and the puppy pose. Maybe we can try them both and take notice of how, of how each pose feels within the body. Simply being aware. That way, if we ever have a client, we can give them the nice options of the two. We're going to hang out here for four more breaths. Two more breaths. As we extend our hands in front of us, we are in our extended child's pose or puppy pose, walking our fingers to the front of the yoga mat, feeling that stretch. As we're gazing forward, we're gonna do a couple of spinal waves, waving our bodies, using our hands to push our body forward and push our bodies backwards. Three breaths. Two more breaths. As we find our pause, coming back to our table, pushing our bodies up to our down dog. Coming into a complete forward fold. As we come into a wide-legged forward fold, bringing our legs further apart, we are feeling it here in our inner thighs. Maybe we can rock our bodies from side to side, noticing how this feels in our hamstrings. Two breaths. As we find our pause, bending our knees, coming up into a goddess stance. Our feet are slightly away from our bodies. We are now gonna work on the lower parts of our bodies here just a little. We are in our goddess stance with our cactus arms. And for those who choose, maybe we can do a couple of goddess pauses here. Noticing how we feel this even more in our thighs, all around our quads, even in our gluteus maximus. Now we don't gotta pause, we can stay still. The pausing is just a nice option. Two more breaths. As we come up to that standing star, palms are off to the side. Nice deep breath. Breathe in. Exhale, just relaxing the body here. Chin slightly up, maybe our eyes are closed. We are in our standing star. We are standing tall. We are building strength. Two more breaths. As we exhale back down to our goddess, Hanging out here, two breaths. Tummy's nice and tight. And if we choose, maybe we can rock from side to side. Noticing how this works different parts in our thighs. What we are doing is we are building strength. We are toning and firming. Two more breaths. As we find pause at center, and do a couple of pulses up and down. Three breaths. You may be feeling your thighs and quads starting to burn. We're almost there. Two more breaths. Finding our pause, exhale up to that standing star, straightening out those legs, relaxing those legs. Chin slightly up, chest is up, arms are off to the side. We are standing tall like queens and kings. Three more breaths. We are the star. Two more breaths. Exhale back down to the goddess. Building strength. We're just going to hang out here. Staying still in our goddess. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale back up to standing star. <sighs> Bringing our palms at heart center. Hanging at our hips, wide naked. 
Inhale, forward fold, two breaths. Slightly gazing forward. You'll feel it in your hamstrings behind your legs. Our backs are nice and straight. Two more breaths. Exhale, complete forward fold. Palms touch the earth. Head falls completely down as we gaze to the back of the room. Maybe taking a couple of deep breaths here in this pose. As we twist forward, framing that left foot. Twisting forward, framing that left foot, finding our bodies in our pyramid. Yes. We are now in our pyramid, allowing our torso to relax over that thigh. Gazing our eyes down, relaxing here, two breaths. As we lean forward, coming into that runner's lunge. Hanging out here just for a second. As we drop down to our knee, coming into that low lunge. Hanging out here for a second. We can bring our arms up in the air if that feels good for us. Chest comes forward. Hands are towards the back. Feeling this nice deep stretch here in our hips. Two more breaths. Exhaling out, framing that front foot. Coming back down to our low lunge. Just for a second, as we bring our left hand inside of our thigh. Left hands inside of the thigh, we are in our runner's lunge. And we're gonna do a low lunge twist here. Twisting our bodies towards the right. Lifting that arm up in the air, feeling that low lunge twist. Tummy's nice and tight. We're gonna hang out here, three breaths. Two more breaths. Bringing that arm down, palms are on the earth. We are back into our runner's lunge. We're gonna twist our bodies to the opposite side, revolve twist. Left arm goes up in the air, twisting our bodies towards our leg. Gazing up at that hand if that feels good for you. Four breaths. Exhaling our hand down. We are back in our runner's lunge as we flow to our down dog. Gazing back at our feet, maybe pedaling our feet, walking our dog. Pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that deep stretch. As we bring that right foot forward, right foot forward, we're gonna be in a runner's lunge just for a second because we're gonna flow to that pyramid. We are in our pyramid opposite side now. Right legs forward, relaxing the body. Allowing our torso to relax over the thigh with our eyes gazed down and relaxed. Three breaths. Two more breaths. As we bend that front knee coming into a runner's lunge, just for a second, we're gonna drop that opposite knee and come into our low lunge. Feeling that hip open right here, preparing our body to split. And for those who choose, we can reach our arms up in the air, palms together, arms go to the back, chest comes forward, chin slightly up, feeling that nice deep stretch here. Three more breaths. Hmm. Exhaling forward, framing that front foot, coming back into that runner's lunge, knees off the earth. As we bring this right arm inside of our leg, we are in our runner's lunge. And we're gonna twist our body towards the right. We are in our revolved lunge twist. Right arms up in the air, gazing at that right arm. Four breaths. Two more breaths. As we exhale forward, both our palms are on the earth. And we're gonna low lunge twist opposite side, bringing that left arm up in the air. Gazing up that left arm if that feels good for you. Three more breaths. Exhale back center, both palms on one ears. Breathe, exhale, down dog. Pushing our torso towards our thighs, feel the next stretch. Exhale to up dog. Thighs are off the earth here in our up dog. Breathing down to our cobra. Now now our thighs are on the earth. As we flow to our baby cobra. 
coming a little bit more closer towards the earth. As we flow down to our spanks, now we are on our forearms. Relaxing our bodies here, we are on our forearms. Our shoulders are relaxed downward away from our ears. This is a slight back bend here. Notice how if our shoulders are shrugged and sunken, we don't really feel it in our backs. Keeping our shoulders away from our ears allows us to lift our bodies up and feel that slight back bend. As we gaze forward, maybe closing our eyes or gazing them down. Natural breaths. This is a resting pose as well as a slight back bend. We're gonna hang out here for breaths. Two more breaths. And maybe we wanna take a little bit more of a rest here. We can come on down to a sleep pose by crossing our hands in front of us, palms on top of each other, and allowing our chin or our forehead to relax on our palm. With our eyes gazed down and closed, our shoulders melt forward into the yoga mat, allowing our bodies to completely relax and take a break here. Maybe hang out here four more breaths. Two more breaths. Slowly coming out of that sleep pose, pushing our palms, using our palms to push our bodies up just a little. As we bring, breathe, or swim our palms in front of us, lifting our feet off the earth, we are in a Superman or a Supergirl. Yes, this is a back bend as well. You may also feel it in the lower parts of our gluteus maximus. And maybe we can rock from side to side like we are flying like a Superman or Supergirl, if that feels good for us. Noticing where we feel and what we feel in our bodies, we can just find our pause if that feels good. Superman, Supergirl, two breaths. As we swim our hands behind us, coming into a locust pose. Now our hands are parallel to our legs, palms are up towards the ceiling, our feet are off the earth. We are now in our locust pose. Gazing forward, noticing how this feels in the body. Three breaths. Two more breaths. As we relax down, just completely coming down for a second. Shoulders fall forward, relaxing on our forehead. <clears throat> now on our arms and shoulders to completely relax here. Palms are still up. Three breaths. As we slightly lift up, coming back into that locust pose, palms are up, feet are off the earth. Chest is off the earth. Three breaths. And for those who choose, maybe we can come into a full bow pose or maybe half bow by bringing our right hand to our right ankle. And if you want to come into the full, bring that left hand to that left ankle. And noticing how this is a deeper back bend and how our chest comes even more off the earth. Gazing forward, three breaths. Two more breaths. Filling that back bend here. Oh, as we relax down, uninterlacing our feet, swimming our hands forward, coming back into that sleep pose, resting our hands on top of each other as our forehead or chin rests on our hands. Four breaths. Maybe taking a couple of deep breaths here, allowing the breath to relax and soothe. Two more breaths. As we push our bodies up, coming back into a Spanx pose. <sighs> we are on our forearms. And taking a notice, taking note of how our bodies feel here in our Spanx pose. And how our bodies felt when we were in our locust pose. 
in our bow pose. Those are all slight back bends leading to that deep bow pose back bend. So those are poses that we can do to prep our client or our bodies before we go into those deep back bend poses. What we're gonna try next is we're gonna place our palms flat on the earth. We're gonna come into a seal pose by using our palms to push our bodies up off the yoga mat, kind of like the seal on a rock or a mermaid on a rock. Just using our palms to push our bodies up. This is a little bit deeper back bend than the Spanx pose. We're gonna hang out here, three breaths. As we exhale back down, relaxing just for a second, pushing our bodies back up one more time into that seal pose. This pose is great for people who experience lower back pain. Hanging out here, three more breaths. As we relax back down, coming back into that Spanx pose, relaxing our shoulders away from our ears. Noticing how that feels. As we bring our palms towards our chest, we're gonna come up to that cobra or baby cobra. As we push back up to that up dog, thighs are off the earth. Chin slightly up, breathe in. Exhale down dog, gazing back at that feet. <sighs> Pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that stretch. <clears throat> Exhale to a complete forward fold. <sighs> Coming into a half forward fold. Breathing to our Tadasana, our mountain pose. As we come into our standing salute. Exhale the prayer. As we hand at our hips. Walking our hands forward, we are back in our down dog. As we breathe our right foot to right hand, we are in our runner's lunge. Just for a second here, we're gonna push our bodies up to that high lunge or that warrior one. Hanging out here, building strength, building balance. <sighs> Two more breaths. As we exhale to reverse warrior, I'm sorry, to warrior two, my apologies, warrior two. <sighs> our palms can be up, our palms can be down, whatever feels good for you and your body. Three more breaths. <sighs> As we breathe in deeply, Exhale to reverse warrior. Two breaths. Exhale back to warrior two. Breathing back to warrior one or high lunge. <sighs> two more breaths. As we slightly lean forward, we're gonna frame that front foot. We are back in our runner's lunge. Maybe flowing into a pyramid just for a second. Noticing how this pyramid relaxes that leg. We're gonna hang out here two breaths. As we exhale to um, down dog. Gazing back at our feet, walking our dog. As we breathe that left foot to that left hand, we are in our Runners lunge, opposite side. As we flow up to that warrior one, or high lunge, whatever feels good for you. Three breaths. As we exhale to warrior two, we are working the lower parts of our bodies here. Two more breaths. Exhale to warrior one. Breathe back, warrior two. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale, reverse warrior. As we breathe back to warrior two, flow into warrior one, three breaths. Feeling nice and strong and empowered here. Two more breaths. Breathe in deeply. Exhale forward, framing that front foot, coming into that runner's lunge. As we flow into a pyramid, straightening out that front leg. Now how this counter stretches the pose we just did. Two breaths. As we exhale to down dog. 
gazing back at our feet, pedaling our dog. Breathing to up dog. As we flow down to our cobra or our baby cobra, coming back down to our sphinx pose. Relax in the body, three breaths. As we slowly come up, we're gonna roll onto our side. We're gonna stack our legs on top of each other. <sighs> Using this pose to balance our bodies here. Maybe we're balancing our head on our hands, if that feels good. And we're just gonna bring our leg up in the air just for a second to see how that feels. And maybe we can do an extended hand to toe, reaching our hand down towards our toe. Yes, and feeling that nice deep stretch. Bringing that leg closer towards our body as much as we can go and deepen that stretch here. We are stretching and working and lifting here. Two breaths. <sighs> Exhaling that leg back down. We're gonna work on an alligator pose here. Straightening that front arm, that arm above our head. Relaxing our head on our arm. So our body looks like a lowercase L. Nice and long, nice and straight. We have this arm that's our kickstand hand in front of us as we slightly lift our leg off the earth. Our core is tight and our bodies are balancing here. And if you choose, you can lift that leg even higher in the air. And you may even start to feel a burn in your thighs all around your legs. This is a strengthening and firming pose. As we relax that leg down, nice and easy. And for those who choose, maybe we can give this a try. Taking a hand that's our kickstand hand and bring it above our head. Bringing both of our palms together above our head. When our palms are together, we are actually creating the alligator's tail. Now my bodies look just like a lowercase l. Now may we slowly lift that leg up on top, slightly up. Yes, this leg, our legs, is the alligator's mouth. So now the alligator's mouth is slightly open. And if we want to open it wider, Lift that leg up higher. And we are feeling a burn already, as well as balancing our bodies here, as well as working on our core. We're going to hang out here four breaths. Positioning your leg in any position, high or low, that feels best for you. Three more breaths. We're going to do a bonus here. Two more breaths. Feeling a burn. As we exhale that leg down, relaxing the leg, pushing our bodies up, coming back to our head on our hand. And we're gonna do one more extended hand to toe, bending our knee, connecting our hand towards our foot, lifting that leg up in the air, feeling that stretch, feel that counter stretch there, maybe bringing that leg towards our torso nice and deep, but we're nice and deep in that stretch. Three breaths. Maybe pointing that foot upwards, slightly pointing that foot like we're a dancer, noticing how that feels when we point our foot. Yes, two more breaths. Exhaling down, coming onto our tummies as we flip to the opposite side. Just like math, what we do to one side, we must do to the other. So we're gonna flip one over, <sighs> using our hand to hold our head up, bending that knee, Bringing that leg into our, bringing that hand into our um, feet, into our hand. We're going to extend that leg up in the air. <sighs> Feeling that stretch. Three breaths. We're just warming up the body here. Two more breaths. Allowing the leg to relax down. And then we're going to slightly just lift the leg up in the air just for a couple breaths. We're doing a couple of prep poses here. We're just prepping the body. Core is nice and tight, ensuring that we have our balance as we relax the leg back down. And if all felt well with what we just did, may we extend that arm above our head and relax our head on our arm. We are preparing for our alligator opposite side. Our bodies look like a lowercase L. We have our kickstand hand here as we slightly open that alligator's mouth. Core is nice and tight. 
And if this feels good, maybe we can open the alligator's mouth a little bit more, noticing how and what we feel in our bodies. Two more breaths. As we relax that leg down, and for those who choose, maybe we can extend that arm above our head, into connecting both hands together, creating that alligator's full tail, relaxing our head on our arm, balancing our bodies. Four is tight as we slightly open that alligator's mouth. We are already starting to feel a burn. Our bodies are balancing. Our core is tight as we open that alligator's mouth a little bit. Three more breaths. Still in a burn. We are working on firming and toning our legs here. Three more breaths. Positioning our alligator's mouth in any way we want. We can have it slightly open, slightly open or all the way open. Whatever feels good for you. Two more breaths. As we slowly close that alligator's mouth, coming up, hand is in, head is in our hand. We got our kickstand hand here, only for a second. As we bring our knee into our chest, extending that hand to toe, straightening out that leg, feeling that counter stretch here. Maybe bringing that leg towards your torso as much as you can, feeling that nice deep stretch. Pointing our feet upwards, feeling that stretch, noticing how it feels when we point our feet like a dancer. It feels differently when we simply point our feet. It stretches other parts of our bodies. Two more breaths. Feeling that stretch as we relax our leg back down. <sighs> Finding our bodies onto our backs. Just for a second, bringing our knees into our chest. Hugging them in as we extend our legs up, legs on the wall poles. Pointing our foot, our feet towards the heavens. Dorsi flexing, dorsing in our feet, feeling that stretch. As we reach down to the lower parts of our legs, bringing our legs towards our torso, feeling that body stretch. Torso comes towards our legs or legs to torso. Two breaths. Breathing our legs back up one, back up in the air, legs on the wall pose. As we use our hands to stretch our legs apart, we are going to recline wide legged stretch here. Using our hands to push our legs apart, we are opening up our hips a little bit more. We are ensuring that our bodies, our hips, our spinal cord stays nice and warm and flexible for the winter. Two more breaths. As we bring our legs back together, legs on the wall pose, dropping our knees, coming into a happy baby, feet is up in the air. Palms come between the legs as we connect them to our feet. Our spinal cord is melted back into the yoga mat. Our shoulder blades are melted back with our eyes closed. Maybe we can even rock our bodies from side to side in our happy baby if that feels good. Or we can bring our feet towards our head one at a time, just simply pedaling them, noticing how that feels. We can even bring our legs over our shoulders, coming into a shoulder press, which flows into a pretzel pose. And may we hang out here in our happy baby and freestyle for five natural breaths. Three more breaths. As we find our center, hugging our knees into our chest. As we allow our knees to fall towards the left, we climb spinal twist. Mm. Right arm goes off to the side as we gaze over that right arm or gaze up at the heavens. We may have clients who can't gaze over their shoulder. So gazing over your arm or gazing up at the heavens. Two more breaths. As we flow back to center, hugging our knees into our chest, allowing our knees to fall towards the right. <sighs> left arm goes off to the side as we gaze over that left arm. 
with the eyes closed, may we relax here, three more breaths. Exhaling back to center, bringing our knees into our chest, hugging them in just for a second as we allow our feet to fall flat on the earth. The palms of our feet are on the earth, which means our knees are in the air. Our palms of our hands are near our buttocks. As we push our buttocks off the earth, working on our bridge pose, we are working on our gluteus maximus here. And you can actually, we can actually do a couple of bridge pose pauses if that feels good. Slightly lifting our bodies up in the air and bringing them down close to the earth. Then coming back up or we can simply just stay high in the air noticing how we can feel it here in our gluteus maximus and if we want to go deeper we can actually walk our shoulder blades towards our spinal cord interlacing our hands underneath our buttocks noticing how our chest comes higher in the air and our hips come higher in the air and maybe we can do pulses here what we are doing is we are we are rounding and lifting and firming our gluteus maximus. So maybe we can play around with this bridge pose for seven more breaths. And if anyone choose, we can go into a three legged bridge by simply just lifting up right side first. I'm gonna start right foot to um, left thigh and see how that feels. And if that feels great, we can actually extend that leg up in the air. Notice how that feels. We can even do some taps, leg up, leg down. Three leg bridge taps. These are just a couple of options that we can do to feel a burn even more. As we find our pause, and if we did the three legged bridge on one side, we have to do it on the other. So switching sides. And we can do taps if that feels good. We're gonna freestyle in our bridge for a couple more breaths. And if we're doing three-legged, maybe come back to our bridge, using our feet to push our torso up nice and high, nice and deep, feeling that nice, deep gluteus maximus crunch here. Hanging out here, holding this pose or doing pulses for five more breaths. We're gonna go into a bonus here, five more breaths. And if we're staying still, maybe we can do a couple of pulses, lifting our butt up slightly down and coming back up, feeling that burn, working on our buns of steel here, three more breaths. As we find our pause, two breaths, squeezing our buttocks nice and tight, squeezing it up, squeezing it up. Squeeze, 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 feeling that burn, two more breaths. Exhale down, bringing our knees into our chest, relaxing, hugging our knees into our chest. Allowing our knees to fall towards the left. Noticing how that feels, the counter stretch here. Maybe straightening out that leg as it's towards the left, noticing how that feels. <sighs> Two more breaths. Exhale into center, hugging our knees into our chest as we allow our knees to fall towards the right. And maybe we can straighten out that leg towards the right, noticing how that feels. <sighs> Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, bringing our knees into our chest. Hugging them in as we cross our feet at our ankles, coming up to that boat pose. Working on our abdominal muscles just for a couple breaths here. Feet are off the earth, crossed at our ankles or parallel side by side. Or we can straighten out our legs. We just wanna work on our abdominal muscles a little bit more here. We're gonna hang out here, six breaths. Back is straight. Core is tight. Four more breaths. And if we choose, we can actually cross our feet at our ankles doing a couple of, yes. Noticing how that feels. We can feel a little bit more in our abdominals when we do this. We don't have to, it's just a nice option. Three more breaths. 
as we find our pause, back is straight, and maybe do a couple of taps, working our obliques, tapping our hands from side to side. Noticing how this balances, we can fill it in our core. Four more breaths, going as fast or as slow as we choose. <sighs> we are building a sweat here today. Three more breaths. As we find our paws, bringing our hands towards our feet, feet are in our hands. As we straighten out that left leg, coming into that boat pose variation. This is a relaxation pose here. As we straighten out that right leg, both of our legs are out side by side. We are in a boat pose variation or a bear pose. Four more breaths. Balancing our bodies, core is tight, backs are nice and long. Two more breaths. Breathe in deeply. Exhale and our feet together coming into a diamond or a butterfly. As we do a couple of seated cat cow poses here. Lifting our torso, our chest up. Chin comes slightly up, we are in our cow. Exhale into our cat. <sighs> Noticing how this feels in our seated cat cow rotations here. We're gonna do a couple of these to our natural breath. As we find our paws, maybe we can hang at our hips. Opening up our hips one more time. Heart chakra comes downward towards our feet, towards the earth with our eyes closed. May we allow our bodies to completely relax them. As we push our bodies up, we are back in our diamond pose or our butterfly. And maybe we can cross our feet coming into our cow face, bringing our legs, crossing them, finding our bodies in our cow face. Yes, yes. Positioning our bodies to feel nice and comfortable. As we spinal twist right side, gazing over that right shoulder with our eyes gaze down. We're gonna hang out here, four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, gazing over the opposite shoulder. Eyes are gazed down, four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center. As we breathe our palms at heart center, we are in our prayer. Maybe our thumbs are touching our sternum with our spinal cord nice and long. And our shoulders relax down away from our ears. As we thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. For self-care is a necessity. And as we all know, we cannot pour from a empty cup. We must take care of ourselves if we want to take care of anyone else. And I would like to thank you so much for allowing me to practice self-care here with you here today in our practice teaching training session. It was truly a blessing being here with you. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you. Namaste.